can there be an increased chance of, of a problem, maybe? I don't know. Hopefully, no, for both sides. But I don't know. We are not used. Any team play here is not used. So in the Switzerland League, Swiss League, and in the Champions League, the teams can come here have to adapt. So we are not be the first like uh, it's going to be this kind of situations. But we have to use it in the benefit as well. Surface to, as a surface to play football on, is it better? Is it worse than grass? What's your view? What's your view? Just generally. No, the grass is better. Why? Well, 99 plus 9 percent of the teams in the high level play in the grass. Otherwise, the wife from FIFA will decide to play an artificial pitch. It's common sense, I would say. <laughs> Hands, please, guys. Yep, yeah, Jack. Hi, um, Pep. There's been quite a lot of talk about Jack Grealish over the last couple of weeks. He said on the international break that the dead leg that he'd got at Sheffield United was, the doctor had said it was the worst he'd ever seen. Obviously, he, I don't think he played for about a month. How much of his non-selection is down to his rehabilitation from that dead leg, or, or do you want to see more from him? No, I, I, I don't have not one, I would say, one second, one piece, nothing doubts about uh, Jack and his quality and what he has done for us since arrived two years ago and especially last season. Um, arrived a little bit, start the season a little bit late and after when the real start have an incredible big impact against Sheffield United, that was one month off. In that period when you are one month off, and with his body, you know, he needs a little bit the rhythm, the rhythm, because he's strong. It's not like Phil or Bernardo, for example, that needs, I don't know, two, three training sessions. Is they are ready. Uh, but we need him. Uh, he's incredible focus to to get back, and he will be back, and and we're going to to use him when we believe is going to help us. And of course, he knows, and everybody knows, he's a. You know, competition. So they have to fight for with his mates to win a position, to after in the weekend, on the midweek in Champions League, be a friend, to fight or brothers, to fight against the opponent. So it's a little bit uh, strange to say, but you are like a competitor's enemies during the week, and the weekend you have to be brothers. But it's where it is. So, but Jack compete now with, okay, Phil can play left, so Jeremy can play left, but previous seasons play with Phil as well, with the uh, uh, you know, Rahim or whatever. So uh, it's what it is, but I'm full, full calm and confident that, that Jack is an incredibly important player for us. Get him. Oh, sorry, Jack. Go on. In the week, do you want them to be a little bit more sort of enemies? Are they, are they all too friendly at the moment? No, no, no. During the week? Yeah. No, it's perfect. They train really well. There's enemies in the. You know, they have an incredible relation. The group of guys that have this season is beyond exceptional, on the relation they have. But they compete, you know, for one position to convince me or convince themselves. At the end, they have to convince themselves, I'm ready. Because sooner or later, the opportunity comes. And when you train being ready, when the opportunity comes, you are ready. As much good you play, more chances we have for the next games to play. Get him. Um, just going back to Jack, he was a pivotal part of the Champions League campaign last year and started all of the knockout games. Is there a, a sense that you talked about this this treble hangover that, that maybe Jax was a bit heavier than everyone else's or Well some players are a bit more hangover than the other ones, but the hangover must be out. No, I don't think so, Jack. Jack arrived as, as uh, you know, it's a little bit different when you play the second season, when the first season arrived, didn't play all the games and now the last season was not just the Champions League, was for the travel, it was really important. Play a lot of games, and important ones was decisive and give us something that is unique in many, many things. The control, the the luster, the vision they have, and the power, the strength, the mentality, many, many things they have. Um, but right now, had especially when they start to get the rhythm, had this injury, and and it was long, it was long, it was tough. The doctor said I never seen this knock in the position they, they, he got from a long, long time ago, and, and that's why he spent time, and after competition is, is, is already there, and you know, to get the rhythm you have to play, but 
we cannot wait. So we have to beat the rhythm, the trainings and the minutes we have, because at the moment we have the 90 minutes, continue to get the rhythm. So, but he will get it with this amount of games. He will get it. Two more in English, guys. Just poll there, please. And then we'll go to our last. Hey, Pep, just on, on that theme, you said on Saturday that the, the treble had influenced all of you and, and you in, included in that. I was wondering if you could elaborate on that much. How, how exactly has it impacted you? What did you learn that you're putting into practice this season, maybe? I would say in, in, uh, we compete really well in, in all the games, honestly. Otherwise, we'll not be close to the Spurs right now on top of the league with six points here. Everyone is waiting us, but everyone is different. When you you start the season, when the previous season was not really really good, it was really really poor. I would say you even no qualify for the European competitions. You give everything for. You come here, winning, winning everything, and you know, is and sometimes you need a little bit, you know, but. I would say the mentality for the players, we will not be in that position. We will not be in that position close to the top of the league and six points to six in the Champions League, winning in Leipzig, for example, if we will not have the right mentality to compete like we have done so far. Impossible. We'll be a way away from the top of the league and maybe we will not have six points. So. But it just, I say, just November, let's be calm. And John Stone is back after two months. Jackie, step by step, will be getting better. So. Uh, but in general, I'm just really pleased and satisfied for the behaviour in the training sessions, the commitment for the players and during the games. Our last. Hi, Pep. Um, since Erling came to Man City in a very short amount of time, he's become maybe the biggest star in world, world football, also off the pitch with, with huge commercial deals and social media and media attention. Uh, I mean, he, he presented a campaign with LeBron James yesterday. Um, how how does it affect him, and how does he uh, how does he handle it? And, and through your career, have you faced any any challenges with players who've uh, had the, this huge amount of attention around them? No, I, have, I met I met few, yeah, not a lot, but few, yeah. Uh, it's a question for him, but what I from my point of view, when I see him every day, it's completely the same with the season, completely. His behavior is down to the earth. Uh, lovely guy, and uh, still the right mentality to score goals and help us to, you know, to achieve his personal achievements and the group achievements. Also, but it's normal when you have young with this specific character, um, with the big success that he had in a short time of his career. That's normal. The commercials want him, so it's happened in all the clubs. Just fitting a couple of Swiss German questions before training. Just here. <coughs> <clears throat> After analyzing uh, the young boys' the playing style and the squad, what are Bernie's strengths and also players that your uh, your players need to be aware of? So aggressive team. They don't set deep. Uh, really, really tall and physical team. They link really well when the strikers and the two or three. Except Belia, the other ones, they are so strong. They attack really good the channels, especially on the left side. Uh, in the final third, a lot of players in the box. They can play with four in the back, five in the back, normally play four in the back, and against Red Bull, Red Star play four in the back, and against Leipzig play five in the back. So we have to read immediately which system they use to adapt a little bit defensively, offensively. Uh, and in this stadium, I know for the, the information I had, the people support them and a lot. And yeah, it will be tough, tough game, tough game. Please at the front. Thank you. Pep, for you personal, how big was the relief to win finally the Champions League with Manchester City? <laughs> yeah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? That's it's good. Amazing. Well, normally, normally, it's the, 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 my, my friends from Manchester, they know every press conference in, in Champions League is when you're going to win the Champions League. Now it disappear. Welcome for the question, but. Yeah, it's fine. It's nice. It's yeah, we have it. Uh, we enjoy the moment that is there, you know. Traveling all around the world to show the Champions League everywhere, but uh, yeah, we are here to try to 
you know, to get La 16, arrive in the best conditions in that period, and try to arrive as, as far as possible, knowing how difficult is this competition. And, and we won last season, but the previous season we were in the same, same level than last season. And we didn't win it, and last season we won it. So it's football. Hopefully we can maintain that level in this competition as, as much as possible and, and, yeah, challenge the opponents and, and try not to win the Champions League, like uh, I always said, but try to go through, go through, performing as best as possible to, yeah, to be as much as possible in keeping this competition. Last one here, please, guys. Uh, how do you summarize uh, Manuel's uh, season so far and uh, what progress did he do uh, since he's uh, with you? Akanji? Yeah. Ah, really good. What a sign. We were so lucky to have him last season. We we had the feeling immediately in the beginning of the season that we need one more central defender and the club moved quickly. We had the chance to to sign him. He's a lovely, lovely guy and can can play in two, three positions, but normally always playing central defender, but playing left, right back and playing a holding midfielder when John Stones was not ready. And as open-minded, uh, well-educated, so intelligent, so wise, so very, very pleased. Personally, very pleased. It's a joy to work with Manu uh, every single day. Thank you, guys. Yes, I'm ready to go. Guys? Jack? Just going back to the treble last year, Manu, is there, not, is there a, a mental thing with players that it's quite difficult to, to get away from the, the fact that you have basically achieved everything? So it must be quite difficult to, to get yourselves up for going again. Not, not for me. Um, I mean, I can speak for, for all the guys. Everyone has their own opinion. But for me, um, I want to I wanna go again this year. I want to win um, everything that's possible. Unfortunately, we, we, we are out of the Carabao Cup, so we can't win this anymore. But I hope um, in all the other competition, I hope we can uh, fight for the titles and be up there and um, hopefully lift some more trophies at the end of the year.